quiet From midnight to morning, I'm burning my oil The track is titanium, I'll make it bend like a aluminum foil I'm licking the sun every song when I'm featuring my Welcome back to the channel, I'm Mike, and today is Random Talk I got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Um, first, I want to talk about the MCU. After Captain Marvel, the next movie that's coming out is Endgames. Um, I want to talk about what you, what what you guys think going to happen after Endgames. Um, I'm hearing rumors saying um, they're going to introduce the X Men. Iron Man will die. It's a lot of things that. Um, a lot of things that people are predicting that's going to happen. Um, really, I'm not sure. I want them to introduce the X Men. They, I'm, I like how nobody mentioned the Fantastic Four. I like, I love to see the Fantastic Four too, but I can see why more people want to see the X Men than the Fantastic Four. Um, and then I saw this. Uh, I saw another thing saying that. They gonna they working on X Men versus the Avengers. Now, that all depends on if um, Disney um, introduced the X Men to the MCU, and if they do, great. And <clears throat> I'll love to see something like that sometime in the future. But that's just the future. We got a lot. We got to introduce the X Men to the MCU. We have to explain um, their existence in the MCU for this long, and nobody haven't noticed that they've been in the MCU. So, yeah. Um, once again, guys, I reviewed Captain Marvel <laughs> on my channel. Um, I really did not think. I, I thought I was talking. Well, I thought I was recording more longer, but the video only was like two minutes long. So. Uh, I guess I was talking a, a lot faster than normal. Um, I also want to talk about Jim Ross. He ended his contract with WWE, and I'm hearing he might sign with AEW. Man. Jim Ross, like, I guess AEW is trying to get the ratings boost by signing Jim Ross if that's going to happen, but, um, Jim Ross is not the same Jim Ross, like, he's like a shell in his former self, um, he can still be entertaining, just watch, um, uh, <laughs> just watch some of his, um, podcasts, the one he did with, um, uh, uh, Maria Canunes and Mike Bennett, that was hilarious, um, I'm on my third marriage right now, but you guys, Y'all be great. Y'all say y'all in love. Like, whatever. Like, Jim Ross is hilarious, man. Like, Jim Ross is a jerk in real life. Like, <laughs> he's a jerk in real life. And that's the funniest thing about Jim Ross. That's why I like Jim Ross is funny, man. Um, Jim Ross, do you think the NW the NWO will invade WWE? Highly unlikely. Next question. <laughs> Jim Ross is funny, man. Um, also, I want to talk about Ronda Rousey on her, like, she got her own personal blog called Ronda on the Road. That's a dumb name. <laughs> like, it's a dumb name. Um, she pretty much got on this blog and saying wrestling is fake. And I am going to leave the clip and I'm going to play the clip right now. It's not a fucking promo. It's not an act. I'm not going out there and doing their fucking act anymore. They can say it's part of the act and try and save face to everybody else, but it's not an act. I'm going out there and doing whatever the hell I want and they can explain it away however they want, but fuck them. Everybody, WWE Universe included. I meant that I'm going to disrespect the sport that they all love so much. Oh, don't break kayfabe, Ronda. Wrestling's it's scripted. It's made up. It's not real. None of those bitches can fucking touch me. The end. Yeah, so... <laughs> Ronda Rousey saying that wrestling is fake. Um, it's weird. Yes, it's weird that she's... 
it's really weird that that's that that WWE is doing stuff like that. Like we all know wrestling is fake. Like, um, and I hear Ronda Rousey got a lot of heat. So really, she is the heel going into Fast Lane. And I'm hearing this might be her last run after um after Mania. She she says she wanna have kids. Um, and also, uh, yeah, she says she wanna have kids. So she. She might drop the title at Mania. Um, I it would make sense for Becky Lynch to win at Mania, and Ronda Rousey might say might do something on Raw the, the night after Mania. But that's that's what she's saying. Um, also, Dean Ambrose is thinking about is leaving WWE. He have not um, he have not re- he had not did nothing with his contract. He is leaving um, from all the rumors that I hear. And there's rumors. And, you know, it's Mania Weekend. So there is also rumors that Undertaker might return. And I also hear rumors that John Cena might return. Um, I'm also hearing that John Cena might beat. He might become 17-time um, WWE champ- World Champion. Um we just gonna have to see. <laughs> we just gonna have to see. Oh, rest in peace to King Kong Bundy. I will, like King Kong Bundy. Um, in the comic session, if y'all old enough that y'all can remember King Kong, King Kong Bundy, um, leave your favorite moment of King Kong Bundy. Um, Jeff Jarrett is now a part of WWE creative team. What you guys think of that? J E double F. Jeff Jarrett, man. Y'all remember when he um Vince McMahon was forced to pay Jeff Jarrett like like a couple thousand dollars to drop the belt and man, Jeff Jarrett is smart. Like and he got a job back with w- a job back with WWE <laughs> like he never loses y'all notice that Jeff Jarrett never loses but yeah I'm gonna go over these predictions for fast lane going over the match car um I'm gonna start with the WWE championship match Daniel Bryan versus Kevin Owens um I don't think Daniel Bryan should should drop the belt. I really think um, Daniel Bryan should win the championship. Like I don't think he should lose the belt, but um, I think they're gonna do something with Daniel Bryan and Kofi Kingston at Mania. That's what I'm predicting. That's what I'm saying. But I think like it's sad to see Kevin Owens. Like I feel like Kevin Owens is gonna win, but I don't want him. I mean, Kevin Owens is gonna lose, but I don't want him to lose because he just got back, and for him to lose, he lose momentum, momentum, and yeah, he like that. That don't make sense. Um, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. Now, if Charlotte wins. Becky is gone. She's gone. She, like that's that's what they saying now. If Becky win, it will be a triple threat at Mania, which I think it. I like. It's going to be a triple threat at Mania. Like that's what I think. It's going to be a triple threat at Mania. Now WWE. I don't think WWE have the guts to have Charlotte win. Cause if Charlotte win. Can you imagine Twitter, like just blowing up like twitter will be crazy if charlotte um wins but i think i think it should be a false finish i really think it should be a false finish because you want to keep them both strong for mania in a triple threat match with ronda becky and charlotte it should be it should be um they should keep them both strong so i i think it will be a false finish (laughs) Um, The Shield versus Drew McIntyre, Baron Corbin, and Bobby Lashley. Um, The build-up to this don't make sense. Like, um, 
Dean Ambrose was talking about Roman Reigns with the um look with the leukemia and all that stuff. It it I don't I don't I don't know what they're gonna do with this. Now it would be cool to see if uh to see um Dean Ambrose turn on the shield and it will be a feud between Roman and Dean Ambrose at Mania. That would be cool to see. I'd love to see that. Um, but yeah, I don't really care about this match. Um, SmackDown's women champion, Asuka versus Mandy Rose. Now, <sighs> two, <laughs> Asuka and my babe Mandy Rose. Um, Mandy, if you wa- if you watching this, um, come holler at the brother. <laughs> I'm just playing, but yeah, um, Oscar versus Mandy Rose, um, this, like, I didn't really care for the build-up, um, I'm hearing, like, Lacey Evans might be a part of something with these two, but, um, really, um, it would be cool, I think Mandy, like, I'm hearing Mandy Rose might win, I'm hearing Oscar might win, um, I like Oscar. Like I like Oscar as the champion. Like I'm gonna say Oscar is gonna win. That's who I'm going with. Now the Usos versus Miz and Shane McMahon. This match right here, um, this this gonna be a crazy match. Like especially what I think is gonna happen. I think Shane McMahon is gonna turn heel on the Miz. That's what I think. I think the Miz and Shane McMahon, they're going to break up, which leads to Usos retaining their championship. But but the Miz and Shane McMahon, I think they're going to um I think they're going to feud and um it will it will be um I want to see Shane McMahon as a heel. That's what I want to see. Shane McMahon as a heel and Miz versus Shane McMahon at Mania. That's what that's what I think that's gonna happen. Um, what you guys think on that? Um, uh, the women's tag team champion, the Boss and Her Connection. So Bailey and um uh, and Sasha Banks versus Nia Jackson Tamina. Um, I'll be honest with you, I don't really like. I don't really like. Um, this to be their the this to be the first women's tag team championship feud. I don't I don't really care about this. Um, it will make sense if the Boston Hood connection will win because I feel like if they have a t- title change right now, um, the champ the women's championship lose its credibility and. I hope they don't do nothing. Um, and for um, the Raw Tag Team Champions, the Revival versus Aleister Black and Ricochet versus Bobby Roode and Chad Gable. Um, again, they made this a triple threat tag team out of nowhere. Um, really, um... This will be a fun match to watch if they like. Depending on a time, I I really think this will be a fun match. Um, <clears throat> Alistair Black and Ricochet, they they should they shouldn't get buried. Um, they should be protected because they're young. That's what I that's what I think. They should be protected. Um. Uh, I really think the revival is gonna win the ch- to win the match. And last, Rey Mysterio versus and 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 Rade. Now they have some great. They had a great feud on SmackDown. Some of the greatest matches. Some of the best matches on SmackDown. And I. I don't like. I don't like that their matches being on a pre-show. Um. And Rade should win. That's what I think. And Rade should win because I don't because I don't think Rey, Rey Mysterio don't need to win. So I'm going with him. Um, also, the New Day, Biggie and Xavier Woods versus Rusev and Sensuke Nakamura for 
It's also on the pre-show. Um, yeah, uh, I don't really care about this match. <laughs> oh yeah, guys, I want to talk about one movie that I that I can't wait to see. Us, the um joint uh the Jordan Peele movie. Um, I really want to see that movie. Um, what you guys think? Uh, it looks interest. It looks interesting. Um. So yeah, I will review that for you when it come out. So yeah, guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and yeah, we'll grow this together. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and we're out. Thanks, guys. Peace. Star. She say it ain't me. It's the God of me. Yeah. Don't let what I say that I'm following me. Yeah.